AI content is everywhere. And in 2025, it's important now more than ever to learn to distinguish AI content from real. Why? First of all, if you are a content creator and a search engine flags your content as AI generated, it will not be ranked. There is no chance of getting good views if Google flags your content as AI generated. So it's super important to run your content through an AI detector before you publish, even if you have written everything by yourself. If you are a student, you know how important an AI det detector is. Because if a professor can flag your content as AI, you will be in trouble. And as university professors and teachers, AI content detection is super important. Otherwise, how would you know which students have worked hard and who have just used AI for a shortcut track to success? And that's why it's so important to have a good subscription of an AI detector in 2025. Now, if you search AI detectors on Google, you will see so many different tools. It's so confusing to know which ones to trust. And that's why in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about two cool AI detectors that I personally have used myself. I'll run you through a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use these two AI detectors, how to get the most of them, and how you can incorporate them in your day-to-day -day workflow. Excited? Let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is we'll ask ChatGPT to generate a story for us. So I'm, I'm halfway through writing the prompt. Let's complete it. So I have given a pretty detailed prompt to ChatGPT. Let's see the results that it generates. So when we read through this, right, it's pretty clear that this is written by AI. Like when we read AI generated text, usually the two biggest giveaways are first AI uses super long sentences and second they would be like the sentences would be in this format that it's not just this but also this <laughs> so I'll give you an example you can see this first sentence is so long and there are so many clauses separate by commas that's a big telltale giveaway and to me, as a reader, this is pretty apparent that this text is generated by AI. So I'm going to copy this. Then the first tool that I want to talk to you about today is called AI Detector. So this is, the, this is how the website looks like. All you have to do is go to the link in the description of this video, create an account. You will get some free credits to test out this tool. So I'll paste this text here that's already generated by ChatGPT and we will click on detect AI. The tool takes about 10 seconds to generate results and now we can see that the result is that this text was 100% likely AI generated. Now let's see if ChatGPT can fool AI detector. So I'm going to write a prompt. So I gave this prompt to ChatGPT, can you rewrite it like this text was written by a human? Make it such that the text can bypass all AI detectors. Let's see how ChatGPT performs in this new task. So again, by reading this sentence, this, this sentence, right, it wasn't just disappointment, it was betrayal. Sentences like this always scream AI to me, like it's not just X but Y, that format. But let's see, let's see how accurate AI detector is in detecting this text by ChatGPT. So once we have this, already one detection is done, so we have to click on new detection and then paste the text here. Then we'll click on detect AI. So again, AI detector is pretty accurate as we can see. It has given that this text is 100% likely AI generated. So ChatGPT was not able to fool AI detector. Let's give one last try and see if maybe the text generated by ChatGPT can bypass this AI detector. So I gave a very strict prompt to ChatGPT this time that this isn't good enough. Can you make it more human sounding that no AI detector can flag this text as AI generated? So now I can see ChatGPT has added a lot of dialogue and a lot of emotions to the text. Let's see how AI detector fares in this. So we'll click on new detection and we'll paste this text and then we'll select detect AI. 
again we see that AI detector is pretty accurate when it comes to detecting AI generated text even after fine-tuning the prompts given to chat GPT and changing the results over and over again we still were not able to fool AI detector so if you are looking for a cool tool that can say if your text is generated by AI or not I think AI detector is a great investment and it has another cool feature where you can detect AI images now I have recently generated a few headshots using some AI tools so let's try and upload a AI generated headshot into this AI image detector and we can see if this tool can accurately select if that tool was if that picture was generated by AI or not I uploaded an image that was generated using this AI headshot generator and as you can see the result has come that this is 99% chance that this image is AI generated so we can see that AI detector is pretty powerful when it comes to detecting AI images but how about human clicked images let me try and upload an image that's actually clicked by a human and let's see how accurate this tool is when it comes to distinguishing real photographs from AI generated pictures so this is my image my picture that was clicked a few days back and as you can see the result says this is 1% AI there is a 1% chance that this image is AI generated which is fairly accurate so yes if you are looking for a cool tool that can detect AI in text as well as images AI detector is a pretty good option you can check out the link in the description of this video and get this cool AI detector for yourself when it comes to pricing as you can see there is this model called pay as you go model where you make a one time payment of $40 and you get 400 credits using one credit you can detect about 1000 words so 400 credits is pretty good because it will give you a wide uh, selection of words that you can use to see if AI has been used to generate them otherwise if you work in an institute or you work in a college or a place where you need to continuously detect AI usage you can take up their monthly plan which starts at $20 per month and if you can also take up the yearly plan and save about $12 per year because it's just $19 per month again like I mentioned if you would like to buy the school tool all you have to do is click the link in the description of this video the second tool that I want to introduce to you today is called Winston AI that claims to be the most trusted AI detector. Let's talk a little bit about the pricing of this tool. So there is this free plan where you get uh, 200 credits, 2000 credits and a 14 day free trial. You can get started for free if you are looking to use AI detector as a one time investment. Otherwise, if you work in a college or you work in some online magazine where you need to constantly use AI detection, you can go for the essential plan at $12 per month or the elite plan at $32 per month where you can get 500,000 credits every month. Now let's take a look at how accurate Winston AI is when it comes to detecting AI text. We'll go back to this first passage that ChatGPT generated for us and we will try and see how accurate Winston AI is. So here there are multiple options how you can check for AI. You can either paste your text here in this box. You can also upload a file, a PDF or a PNG file as well. Or you can even give an URL. Like if you, if you have an article and you, and you suspect that the article was generated using AI, you can import that URL here and the Winston AI will do its work for you. For now, I'm going to copy paste the text here from ChatGPT and then we are going to click on scan text. The tool just takes a few minutes to give us the results and we can see that it has a human score of 0%, which means it is highly probable that an AI text generation tool was used. So it's fairly accurate. Then we'll go back to the second passage that ChatGPT generated for us and try and see if Winston AI is able to uh, understand how cleverly ChatGPT disguised its AI. So we'll click on new text scan and then we'll click on, uh, we'll paste the text here 
then we will click on scan text again the results are super accurate this text has a human score of 0% which means it was 100% generated by AI now the third trial which we worked super hard for chat GPT to generate something that sounds like it was written by a human we are going to start a new scan and then we'll paste the text here and then we'll scan text this time it has given this text a human score of 22% which means it is highly probable that an AI text generation tool was used this is uh, chat gpt did a sort of good job at disguising the ai written text but it was not able to completely fool winston ai which makes winston ai a powerful tool if you are looking to invest in an ai detector for yourself aside from just detecting ai text winston ai has multiple other features as well like you can scan for plagiarism and it has a cool certification called the HUMN1 certification. So, so what are the benefits of getting an HUMN1 certification? Uh, the majority of content published online is AI generated. By signaling to your audience that the content they are reading is original and human, you will increase your user, user engagements and rankings on search engines. If you work hard to create human content, it's definitely worth signaling it to your readers. So getting an HUMN1 certification is like a tag that tells your readers that your content is genuine and written by actual humans and not generated by AI. This makes Winston AI a powerful tool if you are looking to invest in an AI detector. And you can get this cool tool by clicking the link in the description of this video. The two AI detectors I recommend are AIDetector.com and Winston AI. If you're looking for a cool AI detector tool, you can head over to the link in the description of this video and get yourself a subscription of either of these. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a brand new episode in my series AI with Anangsha, where I try out cool new tools and share my reviews and recommendations with you. If you found this video useful, don't forget to share it with a friend who might learn something from this as well. And please do subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future content like this. I'll see you again super soon with another new video. Until then, stay awesome and keep hustling. Cheers!